hello friends welcome or welcome back to my channel i am neva this is Rima neva and today we are doing a kind of a different kind of whipping chat so if you don't know what a whipping chat is whip stands for work in progress this is my work in progress and chat is just where i chat however today we are going to do more of a whip and um maybe like whip and tbr or whip and wrap up slash tbr i'm going to talk about the very briefly the books that i read in january there aren't very many there's only five and then we are going to talk about all of the books that i'm wanting to read in february what readathons i will be doing etc etc so first of all this is my whip i am working on well, of course i'm doing off the thing but i am working on paint the moon this is a square diamond painting from diamond art club it is 33 by 46 centimeters and i don't remember how many colors are in this uh 28 colors and like i said it is a square this is a diamond painting that i've been working on since december i started it very briefly in the beginning of december and then put it away for most of the rest of the month but this was given to me for my birthday by my beautiful friends ml and ollie and yeah squares always take me a lot longer so even though this is a smaller i guess like snack size kind of painting it is taking me a while just because it is square so that's what i'm going to be working on today we're working on um I'm trying to see here. I think um, I think around this spot here in the diamond painting. So yeah, that's what we are working on. So I do have my iPad off to the side. I know you can see it just a little bit in the camera. I apologize for that, but I do need it in order to look at all of my notes and all of the things that I need to be able to talk to you about today. So first of all, how are you? I hope you're well. Let me know in the comments how you're doing, how your reading month went. Um, yeah, if you didn't read anything at all, which is totally valid, how your new year has uh, begun, all of that. So I am just going to jump right into working on my diamond painting. Feel free to pull out your own work in progress, whatever that is. Do some chores, whatever you need to do. Use me as a podcast. It really it does not matter to me, but I'm just going to talk to you for about an hour about all of the books that I read in January and then all of the books that I want to read in February. So we'll start with all of my wrap up stats for January. Um, like I said earlier, I did read five books in the month of January. Um, that's kind of on the low end for me. However, I went into January knowing that the year of 2024 was going to be the year that I kind of just let myself read how I want to read. I'm not going to put a ton of pressure on myself to read a certain amount of books in a month. I do already have like reading goals for the year um which i will stick to my reading goal for this year is 100 books so that's been my reading goal for the last couple of years because i feel like 100 books is attainable for me um it's not attainable for everyone and i'm aware of that so please do not beat yourself up if you do not hit the same goals as me or if you don't have the same goals as me maybe your goal is less or more or whatever i have friends that read way more than me i have friends that read way less than me and it every book is valid and if you don't read at all if you prefer to do something else that is valid as well um i did not complete any arcs this month i did start one i started dungeons and drama this is a book that i'm oh, we'll talk about it more later but i do plan on trying to finish that in uh, February. My total number of pages read was 1,752 and I listened to 16.12 hours of audio. So all of those stats I just pulled off of my um, 
good uh not goodreads i pulled off of my storygraph account so that is where i'm getting those numbers from if you're wondering if you care i'm actually going to pop this thumbnail off because it's going to come off anyway so sorry to anyone who's like offended by that but it will also make it a bit easier for me to open up my containers all right um as far as fit as far as books off my physical tbr i did read one book now i did read this as an ebook i pretty much exclusively read on my kindle um or through audio and that book was fourth wing that i read um i read that and it counted as a physical TBR book because I ha I own it on my physical shelf. I will, now that I've read it, be donating or not donating, but giving away my copy to my book bestie Nell because I have one of the Spray Edges copies and she really wanted it. She loved Fourth Wing. I, however, did not. Um, I read three books that were on my Kindle that were from somewhere other than my physical shelf so by this i do mean and i differentiate this way because i want to keep track this year of how many books i'm actually completing that i already own so these books this month happened to be well one was a library book and the rest were um were kindle unlimited so anything that i'm reading on my kindle that I don't already like own on my shelf that I can't pull off my shelf or that was not already on my Kindle at the beginning of January. Well, that's not true. Anything that's not purchased on my Kindle. So library books, uh, Kindle Unlimited, those are what I'm counting as just being books that I read um, off of my Kindle. And then I read one audiobook this month as well um my average rating for this month was 4.6 stars i gave four books five stars and one book three stars and then my reading goal like i said is 100 and i actually read five i started the housemaid series i read the first two books which are the only two that are currently out with my friend katie from i would rather be reading and we really enjoyed these they were super fun to read together because we could talk to each other we have like a voxer chat um and we're patiently impatiently <laughs> waiting for the third book to come out in june and then i am caught up on the jacksonville rays series as well the next book does not come out until december um my favorite book of the month was kind of a tie between icebreaker and um icebreaker and pucking ever after volume two i had to think of what the book was called my least favorite book was fourth wing a new to me author was hannah grace and a fave audiobook the only audiobook i listened to this month was icebreaker so the five books that i read this month i read the housemaid and the housemaid's secret uh which is books one and two in the housemaid series i read icebreaker which is a hockey romance i read fourth wing which is a uh new adult fantasy book is that four yes and then i read um pucking ever after volume two I think that's five um pugging after volume two which is a continuation of the jacksonville ray series it's book uh 2.5 i believe is how it falls into the series um and this is just a collection of novellas that take place after the events of pucking around and pucking wild which are the first two books in that series so all in all I call it a successful month. I did read things. Um, I struggled a little bit at the beginning of the month for, with wanting to find books that I wanted to read. Oh, and then I also DNF'd never. I should have put that in there. Um, and I did have three buddy reads this month. Four buddy reads this month. I had four buddy reads this month. So 
one of the buddy reads that I had was Never by Jessa Hastings. I was reading that book with Rainy and Kelsey. However, Kelsey and I both ended up DNFing. Um, it was just kind of boring. Um, there wasn't necessarily anything wrong with it. I just didn't care. And then I buddy read Icebreaker with Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading and then The Housemaid and The Housemaid Secret, both of which I buddy read with Katie. So those are my stats for the month of January. Now we're going to move in to the two readathons that I will be participating in this month. One of them I am helping co-host and I'm so excited. Now that one is the Battle of the Girl Bands readathon hosted by my friend Rainy Blue from Rainy Blue Reads. And we did this readathon last year as well um, in 2023. And last but last year we did Battle of the Boy Bands. So we I think last year it was InSync, Backstreet Boys, the Jonas Brothers, and Hanson. And this year it is Battle of the Girl Bands, which are uh, Cheetah Girls, Destiny's Child, TLC, and the Spice Girls. So I am a co-host of the team TLC, which is super, super fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of the prompts that I have, and then I'm going to tell you which books I will be reading for each prompt. So my co-hosts for team TLC are my friends Leandra from Leandra the TBR Zero and Nicole from Dusty Book Sniffers. I'm sure that at this point if you're following me and you've been following me for any length of time you have interacted and seen both of these lovely lovely people. However if not I will have them linked down below so you can easily go find them and hang out with them. I will also link the rest of the co-hosts and anyone else that I've mentioned in this video so far um so that you can go also hang out with them and yeah because everyone that I mention in any of my videos is my friend and is awesome and yeah even if they don't know who I am and may not actually be my friend um they are awesome everyone I've mentioned so far is my friend but if I ever mention other booktubers just know that I love them even if they don't know who I am so the first prompt that we have is a book with a doctor. Um, also, I should have said this already, I will be just superimposing photos over the top here so that you can see what each of the books is. Since I read it pretty exclusively on my Kindle, I don't have physical books to actually like hold up. I think I only have one um, book on this entire TBR that is a physical book like that I actually can go pull off my shelf right now because my books are currently packed up um so yeah i'm not going to be including any physical books on this tbr like showing any so i will just be super imposing some photos just right over the top of me diamond painting so the first book that i have is housemate by leah bruner this is a you're like a rom-com i think um, yeah, apparently it's part of the Under Kansas Skies series. From the research that I did on it, it looks like it can be read as a standalone, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I did get this book off of Stuff Your Kindle Day, however, it is also on Kindle Unlimited, so if that's something that you're interested in, you can read it that way. The next prompt that I have is a romance, and I will be reading Powerless by Elsie Silver. I've read other, one other book by her. I believe it was Reckless. It was like a nanny single dad romance. I believe it was Reckless. I read it last year. I really did enjoy it. I gave it five stars. Um, yeah, so I'll be reading Powerless by Elsie Silver, which I believe is the third book in a series. Again, these ones I think can be read as standalones. Um, and I haven't actually read the first one. I was, I've been told that the first one is not really great. So I haven't, I just haven't picked it up. Um, but this one is also available on Kindle Unlimited. So that's how I'll be reading it. And if you would like to read it too, you can read it on Kindle Unlimited. 
The next one is a book set in Georgia. For this, I will be buddy reading The Color Purple with Leandra and my friend Coda from Your Book Bestie. And I'm super excited about this. I've not read the color purple since high school it's one of my favorite classics um it's a really good book it's heart-wrenching it's difficult to read um but it's it's really an amazing amazing book um so i'm super excited to be reading it with my friends because a few of them have never read it and um yeah Actually, I don't know if any of them have actually read it. I know Nicole's seen the original movie from the 80s that had like Oprah and Whoopi Goldberg in it. Um, but I've not seen the new movie. And I've, like I said, I've not read this book in many, many years. So I'm really excited to be experiencing it with <clears throat> all of my friends. The next prompt that I have is a highly anticipated book. For this, I will be reading If We Were Villains. This is also a book that I'm reading for a vlog, which I'm not going to mention here, um, but it is a collab vlog with a bunch of my friends, and um, I'm reading it for that. Now, I'm less than 50% through this book, which is why I am putting it on this TBR. Technically, I already started this book in January. However, I obviously didn't finish it. So I am wanting to finish it and why not get some points for it in the process? But I am less than 50% through, so I can <clears throat> include it on this TBR. And then the next prompt I have is reminds you of a favorite book. For this one, I am going to be reading Daisy Hates. Now, Daisy Hates is the second book in the Magnolia Parks universe. I have actually read Magnolia Parks at this point twice. Absolutely love it. It's a favorite book for me. It's a six star. And I can't wait to continue into this um universe so in the first book we follow bj and magnolia and in this book which is daisy hates we are following daisy and christian and then daisy's brother julian so we meet all of these characters in magnolia parks um and yeah we meet all of them in magnolia parks but and then i know part of daisy hates kind of follows the same timeline as Magnolia Parks, but the way that Jessa Hastings has chosen to write this series is that every other book is a Magnolia book. So books one, three, and five are Magnolia and BJ books, and books two and four, I don't know if there's a sixth book coming out or not, but so far two and four are from Daisy's point of view um I don't know who else like I don't know if Christian and Julian continue to be in her books or not um but I know that Daisy hates at least this first Daisy book uh it is three POVs so it's Daisy Julian which is her brother and then Christian which is um one of Magnolia's friends and then he's kind he's like a they're like friends with benefits in Daisy Hates. So, or he is friends with benefits with Daisy Hates. So yeah, that's what we're going to be reading for that prompt. The next one I will be reading is an author you've disliked. So I had to really think about this. I don't purchase books. Um, like if I've really not liked an author, I'm not probably going to purchase more books. But I thought of the fact that I've only read one Holly Black book and I did not like it. I ended up doing nothing it and that is A Book of Night. So I will be reading The Coldest Girl in a Cold Town, which is by Holly Black. This is like a YA fantasy book, I believe. Um, I needed to find something that didn't follow characters from the Cruel Prince series because I have I was having trouble getting my hands on it without purchasing it and I personally don't want to buy the Cruel Prince until I've been able to read it like from the library or something um but the hold for that was years long so not years but it was forever long and it was too long for me to include it for a readathon so I decided to pick this one up after kind of scrolling through my library app um, my Libby app and I found the coldest girl in cold town so apparently uh this is a YA 
novel that follows our main character. I can't remember her name right now. I did read the synopsis, but it follows our main character who lives in a place where they have what we call cold towns. And this is where like humans and monsters are like made to live together and they like fight and it's gruesome. Um, but once you go into a cold town, you can't get out. That's the premise that I get from this. I don't really know, okay? I don't really love to read synopses. If I'm going to be honest, I prefer to go into books blind. So the only reason that I even read the synopsis was to make sure that this did not um, follow the Cruel Prince characters because a lot of her books do, and I, I, I didn't want to do that. So that's the only reason I even read the synopsis. The next one that I will be reading is for BIPOC or LGBTQ plus author, and I'm going to be reading The Bandit Queens. This is actually Nicole's uh, host favorite. Um, I really wanted to include a host favorite in here. I, I hope to read Leander's host favorite as well. I just don't know what prompt it would fit so I didn't try to fit it into a prompt but I did fit Nicole's into a prompt obviously I've already read my own which is Magnolia Parks and I don't have Leander's pulled up right now so I can't remember what her host favorite is I'm sorry um actually let me see I might have it uh yeah Leander's host favorite is The Tiger's Wife and then our group read is A River Enchanted so I I hope to read both of those, but I didn't have anywhere to plug them in um, to my prompts. So, yeah, the Bandit Queens. I don't really know anything at all about this other than I know that Nicole loved it. Uh, so, sorry, I don't have a synopsis for that one. Then, a I needed a book that starts with the letter T for TLC, and I'm going to be reading These Violent Delights. This is a book that I bought maybe last year and actually it was given to me. I lied and I don't remember if it was given to me last year or if it was given to me in 2022. It may have been sent to me in 2022 but I actually have both books in this duology. Um, they were both sent to me by my friend Amanda and I just haven't had a chance to really like pick them up so this is my opportunity to start them and I'm super excited the next book I have is a book with no bad this or creep in the title so for this one I am incorporating my one nonfiction book a month which I failed to do last month I did not read a nonfiction book in January so I want to make sure I'm reading a nonfiction book in February and also because it's Black History Month I've decided that I'm going to do a reread of why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. I have read this book um, every year once a year since 2020. Now I don't always count it <clears throat> in like my reading goals so like I don't like last year I did re I listened to it but I did not count it um, like as part of my 100 books that I read for the year and the reason is because I actually was listening to it um, like for a reason to discuss it like my my friend was also reading it and she wanted someone to read it with her but I wasn't actively reading it like as a book if that makes sense so like I was listening to it but I was literally listening to it just to brush up on information um so that I could discuss it with her and so I didn't end up counting it so like if you go to my my story graph from last year you won't find it but that's what I'm choosing to read I probably will do this as an audio but I do have the kindle version um which I don't know I might do the kindle version so that I can go back through my annotations uh but we'll see i don't know where these are popping up okay <clears throat> and then the last book that i have for the girl bands tbr is a book 
from my shelf that I that I'm thinking about getting rid of. For this one, I chose Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. So the reason for this is because at one point in 2022, I was really in my coho era. Um, I was reading basically anything I could get my hands on by her. However, I didn't succeed in completing her backlist. So in 2020, I had a goal. I'm sorry, in 2022, I had a goal to complete Coho's backlist by the t by my 30th birthday. Now, I completed most of her backlist, but I did not complete all of it. I do have a few series of hers that I need to read, and one of those is the Hopeless series. So, the first book in that series is called Hopeless, and... Honestly, if I don't like this series, I will probably end up selling them on Pango, um, which is why I'm including this here, is because if I don't like it, then I'm going to get rid of it. And I thought about getting rid of it before even reading it, but I actually am intrigued to know this story, even though it's a five book series, I think, if you count both novellas. So it's fine. I'm going to read it. So that is it for my girl band's tbr that is nine total books four no ten total books um and yeah so the other t uh readathon that i will be participating in in the month of february is jante's inferno very clever which is being hosted by my friend jan from oh no from Jan Agaton, of course, this would not be a whipping chat if I did not spill. I'm just going to leave this in. It's fine. Um, host by my friend Jan from Jan Agaton uh, YouTube channel. If you do not follow her, go do it because we are trying to get her to 10k and we're so, so proud of her. She just hit 7k not too long ago. So our next goal is 10k. Of course, this would want to spill into the freaking sticky part. Oh my gosh. Watch me struggle, y'all. Okay. Anyway, for this, we are... She's basing this readathon off of Dante's Inferno, which if you don't know what that is, uh, Dante's Inferno is about a man, Dante, who goes through the nine circles of hell. That's that's what the book is about. So we are doing Jonte's Inferno, which I do not have my merch for yet because I did order it uh, late. So that's fine. Whenever it gets here, you'll see me live in it, just like I live in my shh, in the middle of a readathon merch, which I will probably be re wearing a lot for the next month or whatever. Um, yeah. So. I have nine books for this particular readathon. So I'm going to go through them all. Now, the way that this particular readathon works is you have to start from the first ring of hell and move your way up to the ninth ring. Now, I do have nine different books. However, you can, I believe, go watch her video. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but if I don't, I will link Jan down below so you'll be able to go and find her announcement video. Okay, that one is actually stuck, so that one's supposed to be there. Um, but you'll be able to find her announcement video. I believe you are allowed to you like carry a book over from the circle of hell below. So like you so if my book for the first circle of hell fit the prompt for the second circle of hell, I could use that book for both. However, that's not what we're doing. Okay, I have nine separate books. I decided that I wanted to challenge myself. Two of these books do um are also being read for girl bands. So I don't know that I'm doing my girl bands prompts in order. And the reason is because I have to do the Jonte's Inferno prompts in order. So it may be a little bit more difficult with those two books to do those in order for girl bands, but we'll get there when we get there. So the first book is a book or the first prompt is a book set in winter or snow on the cover. I am doing a or I'm reading a book called How Our Hearts Break. This is a book that was just on my Kindle. I got it for um 
stuff your kindle day i have no idea what this book is about it looks like a romance and it was in the romance section or the romance collection for stuff your kindle day like i have a stuff your kindle day collection on my kindle which the kindle content is coming soon um and it was in there i have no idea what this book is but it has snow on the cover so we're gonna try it out and if i hate it i can delete it um like i said it was a stuff your kindle day book so it's not like i lost any money buying this book um so i'm not too upset if i don't like it but we're gonna try it out the next prompt is a horror or thriller book and i will be reading the only one left by riley sager this is his newest book as far as i'm aware um like the newest book that's been published i think he has another book that's been like announced but this is the newest book that's been published it came out last year um and i did pre-order it so i have it on my kindle to go ahead and read this is about like a woman i think she gets fired from her job as like a nurse or a caretaker and ends up going and caring for this like old woman at her house and the woman's family was like murdered in her house and she tells the girl everything i'm not really sure but the only one left the next prompt is vampire book slash blood on the cover and for this i will be visit revisiting vampire academy i've been wanting to do a reread of this series and i didn't really have anywhere that it would fit but now it will fit here so that's what we're doing we're gonna read the first book in the vampire academy series which is just called vampire academy the next one is a hot pick new release or hyped book so for this one i will be reading binding 13 this is a uh like a darker romance um i have only ever seen it hyped on like book talk um i've also seen people talking about it like on booktube but usually that's because they heard about it on book talk first so yeah, I'm not really part of the book talk community, but I do get some book talk information. So that's the only place that I've really seen this book hyped. I only know of one person in my actual like real life that's read this book. And I think she gave it like three or four stars. So I'm going to try it out. I have the first two books in the series. The next one is Battle, War, Knife to Throat, Enemies. For this one, I'm going to be rereading Bloody Princess. I read Bloody Princess last year. However, I read it for Amazing Readathon, and I have discovered that half the books that I read for Amazing Readathon last year, I don't remember. And I think it's because I just read them so quickly. Um, because if you didn't participate in Amazing Readathon last year, we would get prompts every two to three, like every three to four days. And because of that, we kind of had to expedite how quickly we were reading books um so i didn't retain a lot during that readathon and bloody princess was one that i did not retain which i figured out when i tried to move on to the second book which i can't remember what it's called right now but bloody princess if you want to read it is available on kindle unlimited i got this one again off of stuff your kindle day but if you do want to read it it is the entire series i think actually is on kindle unlimited then the next one is a book you paid full price for for this one i decided to use hopeless i've already talked about what hopeless is about this is one that carries over from girl bands um i did pay full price for this book i paid full price for it on kindle and i also paid full price for it um at target when i bought the physical copy so that's how i'm counting that one then i have the next one is food involved uh which this is the seventh circle so food involved and i decided to grab a uh stuff your kindle day book again because apparently this is the month of stuff your kindle day books called when you bake with the enemy this is like a um like a what am i trying to think a steamy rom-com um i believe this one is also on kindle unlimited so if you want to also read it 
you can get it that way. Otherwise, like I said, I did get it on Stuff Your Kindle Bay. And then for the seventh cir or the eighth circle of hell, we have any semblance of romance. I'm choosing to read the winners. So I needed to tie in another book for this specific vlog that I'm doing. This is the same um, for the same vlog that I'm doing for if we were villains. Um, I haven't actually started the winners. This is the third. Well, I have technically. I started it last year, but I need to like start it over. This is the third book in the Bear Town series by Frederick Bachman. I've obviously read the first two, and I have watched some spoiler videos of the first two just to jog my memory so I don't have to reread them all. These books are currently on Kindle Unlimited, at least in the United States. So if you want to read them, you can that way. I think they're also audios on Everand. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to read these ones yet um because yeah I do have it downloaded from Kindle Unlimited because I like to annotate and yeah eventually I will own all three of these books on my Kindle. I do own the first one as like an actual like book like I do I do um but I need to buy the other two. And then for the last circle of hell, we have one more book, Can't Double Up. So this book, you can't double up, which means that I wouldn't be able to use any of the books from any of these prompts, even if I wanted to, which I chose not to do anyways. But for this one, why I'm no longer talking to white people about race is carrying over from girl bands into this as well so those are my books for jante's inferno Jan jante's wow jante's inferno and then what we're gonna do is i'm gonna jump over really quick we're almost done guys um, i'm gonna jump over really quick into my tbr these are i've like i said i've told you all of these that i'm reading also if we were villains i am doing as a buddy read with Nicole Leander and my friend Brooklyn from Brooklyn Reads. The reason is because we all have to read this book for the same vlog um and we were all kind of like pitter pattering around with reading it so okay clearly we just needed friends to encourage us because it's going fine. So the other four books, I'm sorry, the other books that I'm wanting to read this month, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven other books that I would like to get to this month. Will I get to them? I don't know. Some of them I have already started and I'm like in the process of reading them and I just need to finish them. So I'm like, come on girl, if you could just finish them, that would be, you know, really wonderful and great. Um, and a couple of these I haven't started yet. So the first one that I've already started is Haunting Adeline. This is for a, um, this is for my, oh, what is Chip? What the hell? Uh, this is for my 12 friends, or 12 Rex from 12 Book Besties. Um, I'm making this into a series on my channel. And this was the book that Brooklyn picked for me. I am currently reading this. I've been reading it just like a bit at a time um so yeah i am i don't know maybe halfway through maybe like 35 ish percent um i don't think i'm quite halfway through this one yet so yeah i will be attempting to pick this one up in between other books this month because I really do want to get this one done. I am enjoying it. It's it's a it's a good book. Um, it is dark romance. It's like a stalker uh, romance. Please read trigger warnings if this sounds like a book that you're wanting uh, to read or pick up. Um, but yeah, Brooklyn gave this book five stars. So I hope that I do end up loving it. I don't know. It's a very slow burn. So there hasn't really been any spice yet where I'm at in the book, um, which is fine as long as it all pays off in the end. And then the next one that I have is Fireborn. This is another one that I read last year during Amazing Readathon, but 
remember literally nothing from the book because everything from Amazing Readathon is apparently a blur to me. Uh, so this is Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading. This is her pick for 12 Rex by 12 Bessies. And yeah, we're going to read that. Also, I should have said this. The winners is actually Kelsey's pick for 12 Rex by 12 Besties. So depending, there's no real order for how I need to read these books. Um, I've been using the wheel, but because I put the winners up, it is very possible that I will get to the winners before I get to Fireborn. Even though technically... Um, since Ari spun the wheel only twice, Fireborn would be next. If that happens or I get the winners on first, I will just remove the winners from the wheel completely. Um, because then that will show me that I've already read it and I will just film that vlog in real time as I'm reading it, if that makes sense. Anyway, next one I have is Love It First Set. This is, um, a contemporary romance uh it's very very cute but this one was given to me by brie from or brianna from four paws in a book um this is for her vlog for reading my friend's favorite books however she kind of usually what i do is some kind of a challenge for this for this series um and brie took the challenge and made her own challenge which was for me to read five romance books from the least see me to the most so that's what we're doing this is the second book that she picked for me i believe um so the first book obviously was just cute and i mean there's some spice but my mine and Bree's level of spice is pretty high so she gave me books towards the end that are smut basically so that's fine and then I have a buddy read of Crown of Midnight with Kelsey and Rainey this is the third book at least in the order that we're reading it it is the third book in the Throne of Glass series now if you did not read the Assassin's Blade first, like we did, then it would be the second book. However, we read The Assassin's Blade first, and as far as I know, we are planning on doing the tandem raid, because I know someone's going to comment and ask. Um, I guess I don't know for sure that Rainy is doing the tandem raid, but um, originally Kelsey and I were just doing this as a buddy read, and then Rainy joined in, which is always wonderful, the more the merrier. Um, and because she joined in, I don't know that anyone actually asked her if she is doing a tandem read. But Kelsey and I both intend to do the tandem read. The next one I have is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I am doing this as a group read with a bunch of people. Coda and uh, Nicole are the ones that originated this this little group read um i believe this actually started as like a buddy read like it did when they were doing wheel of time and then a bunch of people including me just said like hey we'll read with you and it's now become a group read which is wonderful so we will be having sprints um every thursday slash friday depending on where you are in the world like nicole and i usually do we'll be doing them on both mine and nicole's channels at 6 p.m on thursdays slash fridays and you can come read harry potter with us then we'll have some friends that will join us here and there um and then I believe Nicole is also going to be reading Harry Potter on her Monday sprints, which would be Sunday for the Northern Hemisphere, which is where I live. Um, I probably will either read 200 pages of, because we're doing 100 pages, um, like 100 pages per sprint, but I'll either do 100, the full 200 um for the week uh on nicole's sprints or like on the thursday sprints or what i'll do is i will do my other 100 pages on my saturday sprints just because i'm at work during nicole's um monday sprints so i or sunday sprints so 
sometimes I can listen to audiobooks at work and sometimes I can't. So I try not to take a chance, you know? Then I also have Double Pucked. This is a hockey, a steamy hockey romance. I believe it's Why Choose. Um, like a ro roommate's Why Choose romance. Um, I've started this one. It's on Kindle Unlimited. I have started it. I started it like the last day of January. And I'm loving it so far. I really am in my hockey romance era, y'all. I'm really there. Like, I'm fully committed to my hockey romance era. Um, but yeah, I want to finish this, finish it this month. I just, it's, yeah, so far it's really, really cute. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. And then the last book that I would like to try to complete this month is Dungeons and Drama. I have the ARC copy of this. I would like to get it done. I really did mean to get it done before the due date. Last month it came out January 9th, I believe. And I literally started this book on January 1st. And I was like, I can get it done. And then I got sidetracked by the housemaid. So it is what it is. Um, I do plan on finishing it this month, though. It is super cute. It is a YA uh romance like contemporary romance so just be aware of that because i went into it thinking that it was um just like a regular like a contemporary like a steamy contemporary romance it's not uh it's definitely ya however totally worth it in my opinion i'm about halfway through this one um which is why i did not try to include it in any of the readathons is because i am more than halfway through so that's all of my books that I want to read this month. Let me know down below what books you want to read. And yeah, also, that's really all I have, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know why I said also. But as usual, all of my links are down below. So if you want to like, subscribe, share with your friends, you don't have to not your mom but I would really appreciate it if you did all of the things to help me out in the algorithm uh yeah oops sorry kicked my camera like I said all of my links are down below patreon amazon wish lists um buy me a coffee link if you want to do a one-time donation instead of some kind of a subscription like patreon is and yeah i think that's really about it if you want to be part of the besties book club discord please message me or rainy or kelsey or Brittany, and we can send you a link to that we're no longer linking it down below so you won't be able to access it that way but if you're wanting to join just message one of us you can message us through instagram or through uh like discord itself and we will get you a link for the discord server so that is really all that i have friends i am going to go lay down for a little while and i will see you guys in the next one bye